Welcome to Trend Plays Rock and Roll Racing. This is a game I remember playing a lot as a young gamer. Actually, how do I hold on? Is it, if I hold L and R, maybe there's a secret character somewhere. <laughs> Let me find out real quick. At the character L R, select and then press right. There we go. I missed him. Yeah, I was holding L and R, but apparently I need to hold select too. So this is Olaf. He's got three stats. Everybody else has one stat. I'm gonna be lame and unpick him, because he's awesome. Now, you start with $20,000 in this game. You can only buy these t two cars on the right. You, you, you can't buy the Airblade. Um, they're pretty much the same, although I feel like I like the middle one better. I'm probably gonna get, uh... I'm probably not... Well, I have no intention of placing ads on this video. Given the nature that this is a Super Nintendo game and that there's lots of music going on that are real songs It's probably gonna have ads based off of whoever owns this these copyright. So uh, there is that I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you all these menu options after our first race except for set options the set options is cool Larry he has a name your narrator has a name his name's Larry it fits Of course, I could also turn off the music, but that's part of the experience of the game, and I might as well show it to you. So this is, I guess, our 100 subscriber special, I suppose. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've mentioned that. In fact, let me see if I remember how to play the game even. Yeah, I remember how to move. Now, all the computer players, they have, uh, like, upgraded cars and stuff, but you, you're a noob. You have nothing in your car. So I've, I've got a completely basic car. Let's see if I still remember how to drive. I haven't played this in like 10 years. Now, I don't want to be right in front of somebody because he's just going to unload shots on me. Now, I'm turning really well because I'm using power... St uh, I think it's called power... I'm, I'm using both the... Yeah, I don't... Both the direction no pad as well as uh, the shoulder buttons to navigate. So I'm turning twice as hard as a regular player. I got that gold right there. So every kill you make is 1,000 bucks. Every gold bar you pick up is 1,000 bucks. So he got blown up. I was gonna try to steal that kill. At the top of the screen, you'll see 1 1 1. Um, let me see here. I bet. Yeah, that's the jump. Okay. So that was, now it's at zero. Let me oil up this guy. There, I, I spit oil in front of him. And so now he'll kind of skid when he initially drives over that. I have one shot, so I have to make it count. I like to put oil on turns. So this is the last lap. I always like to spin when I make the finish line. BAM! I still got it! So this is the 100 subscribers special. I have no idea what I'm doing. Most of the time, I looked it up. I looked it up. I've never heard this thing before, but apparently people were asking am I going to do one. And so I looked it up, and it's got, like, I, the first page I saw was, like, a bunch of uh, younger people, not, not necessarily gamers, just younger people that are screaming and saying how awesome it is. And I think it is pretty cool that 100 people thought that I might be worthwhile to come back to. So there's that. I, I think that's pretty cool. Advance a level. What that allows you to do is go up a division if you have enough points. I don't have enough points yet. You need 1,400. I only have 400. At the end of all your races, your points go back to zero. The points are not used for anything other than advancing a level. So right now I'm in Division B on the planet Chem 6. And I've earned $15,000. Now I can try to buy a new car, but I only have $15,000. As I was, we just said, I cannot afford the Airblade, which is 70000 bucks. What I can do is so I can buy another pulse round, and I might think about doing something like that, because I, I like to shoot my enemies. Um, now, anything that you spend on your car, there is a... You don't get any of it back. When you buy a new car, it's totally gone. Everything is gone. There is nothing left in it. So actually, let me, I promise I'd take you through the menu. Um, we have the engine, armor, wheels for turning, Guns for shooting people. Each of, the, each of these shots is one ammunition, so I have two shots per lap. Every time you go through a lap, you get another refill and everything, which can never go higher than your max. So I can shoot twice. 
all your opponents have three armor points. So like right now, I have three life points. Every time I get an armor point, I'll get another life point, essentially. Um, hydro Springs is like how well your car rebounds. Gas, that's how much I can jump. Uh, barrel, that's how much I can spill oil everywhere. So I'm, I'm actually some kind of surprised that I still have what it takes to, to pull off of it in, with no power-ups or anything. What the carnage now I'm going to let them kind of go for us because they generally end up uh, blasting each other to death. Like that. So when a player dies, all, all that happens is he respawns after a few seconds. I don't want to necessarily be right in front of a player. That You'll get hit a lot that, doing that. But I know, in that case, I went ahead and just took the bump. Alright, so now I'm behind, but I have two shots. So if one of them gets shot once, I can fire up, fire off two more bullets and win, or kill him. I still need to catch up to Orange, though. That could be difficult, because I've given him such a head start. And that oil makes you turn around automatically. That I wasn't even holding a control stick. So at this point, I might not actually win. So if that's the case, I may want to consider just racking up gold. Alright, someone's getting shot up right there. Alright, that was orange, apparently. And purple! So I might not make... I might not even make second or third. So I may have let the enemy take too much of a head start on me just this, this time. So I did very, very badly on that. I'd made no money. Alright, I don't want to give it too long this time. Oh, I shot through him. I might be able to ram him to death anyways, though. Oh, they'll just shoot me to death instead. Hopefully they'll screw purple over. No, it doesn't. If the AI doesn't jump far enough, they will get stuck on the lap. They'll think they have to go around again. So I kind of uh, hurt myself by trying to screw over purple. I was gonna ram him if, if he didn't get shot right there. Someone shoot Gray! Oh, I lost my lead. I haven't been doing too well. I need to I need to pick up my game right here. So for the 100 subscribers special, I'm going to play this, I, I don't even know if that's what you want, but I thought I'd do something a little different than uh, the current set of games I've been doing. So this is a game I, I enjoyed playing, like this is the kind of game I liked when I was younger. Looks like he should avoid mines. Shred is orange, since he's last, he looks lost out there. I need a third shot. Once I get a third shot, I'll feel a lot better. Here, eat some oil. 
Now this game is while well, it's awesome first play, one player, I've always only I've always played this two player. I kind of double screwed him right there. I spilled oil in front of him, and then made him get me at a dead stop. I forgot I didn't have any bullets left. So he just did the same thing to me. We love Larry. At least I do. I could have bought a third shot. I should have. Generally, the first thing I do is I just save up for the air blade. But I'm playing two. I play two player normally, so it's easier for me to guarantee I make some money. I wanted to make sure I got orange. So that's a thousand bucks right there. And the maps repeat themselves on each planet. So like when I get to the next planet, the courses will be different. But as long as I'm on this planet, the courses will look like this. You can see my health on the top right. It's the full circle and the little circle. I'm gonna ram him for a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna shoot him. Fortunately, I missed the second shot. So I figured if I was gonna die, I was gonna try to take him with me though. The key to winning this is to be the biggest jerk you can be. That's kind of like how Mario Kart is. And Mario Party. So, it's, I'm not gonna do any 100 subscriber special about like me, because this channel isn't really about me. It's more like about the game. More like the essence of the gaming. Whoops, spun a little hard there. I couldn't turn because of the oil. It slows down your ability to turn, and it just makes you turn randomly. When I get to eight races, I have the opportunity to go ahead and level up anyways. I would say no. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm going to save up money. I'm going to focus. I'm winning rather than shooting, and really that's what I should have been doing. But I was just trying to have fun playing the game, you know? I did introduce myself as a uh, Trent Plays. I know I can win this, though. I've won this so many times. This is my game. Now, I jumped because I didn't want to get shot. I am two shots away from death, though. Show you what a noob car can do. So you're expected to have a souped up car to fight on all these opponents. Tran doesn't need that. When I get the airblade, though, you're gonna love it. The airblades missiles do what I think they can kill an opponent in two hot two two shots. Whereas lasers, you need three shots to do it. That's a fairly large difference. Eat my dust. The stage is set. The green flag drops. I guess you could say this is me letting my hair down a little bit. Hmm. Did this on purpose. You're gonna see why in a minute here. 
All right, I didn't get any of them, but I can eventually. If I just keep, if I just, uh, one of these times I will get them. All it's gonna do is basically reset their AI. Alright, I'll get him on the next pass. If I don't kill him beforehand, I'll blow him up right before he jumps. So I'm, I'm going against instinct here and trying not to kill him. In fact, I might be able to get... Oh. Darn it! <laughs> I killed someone, but it wasn't Gray. So basically what I was trying to do was I was trying to get them to fall off the ramp. And if you fall off the map you die, but that wasn't it. I'm trying to get them to fall off the ramp in a way that lets them go into the intersection. So the AI will be confused and start over. So if I win one more time and collect four gold bars, I will get my air blade. Love that thing. I, I go for like most of the game with that vehicle. I don't worry about the tank, or the hovercraft, or anything like that. And that's why I generally do not drive with everybody else. I generally let the en enemy take out take an initial two seconds or so. So that's 1,000. 2,000. Now I need two more thousand. Right, there's one right there. Missed it. Enough oil on, in front of a ramp can send someone flying off them after their death. Is about to blow. Rip was out there. Slowing down to try to get that gold bar. I like to hit the car that way. That that gets us out of alignment so they can't shoot me. So do I have it? Do you think you're ready to race Division A? Oh, I thought I had the option to, I didn't have to, but apparently I do have to. I remember now, I used to deliberately throw games in order to, uh... in order to stay in the lower division. But that's okay. I've got the Airblade. This puppy, this is amazing. Instead of a jump, you get Nitro. Instead of oil, you get mines that hurt the enemy. Let's see if I remember how to control this thing. Someone's about to blow. Now, yeah, I just cruised over that mine. And you can do that by dropping a mine or any sort of or even oil right before you run over it. And it gives you temporary immunity against the mine so that you don't blow up on your own mine. I was hoping to get orange, but I must have hit someone else. Now you don't get an attack bonus for mines unless you mine the guy right right in front of him. Then it'll count. So purple just fired three shots. I saw the mines, I was actually trying to put a mine right in front of them so I could go over it like a badass. Instead I just took damage like like a chump. Whoops. 
And I think you need 20,000 bucks per missile. Once you get two missiles, though, you start raking it in. So you can have the mine. In fact, you can have this mine too. That's them saying hello. And this is me saying goodbye. timing on that. Normally I'm very good at hitting them on the curve. And I killed him. So he's no longer first, now he's fourth. I've got a missile for the unlucky contestant who wants to get in front of me. It's not enough to kill anybody though. So what do you think? Should I get more nitros and make the map ends faster, or get more missiles and make the enemies to end faster? I like missiles. I think that's all we'll get. So one of the sub 100, or one of the subscriber specials that was done was us, a guy playing a video game that isn't normally on his channel, so I thought I would do something similar. Um, I don't really have much to talk about for myself, so I thought I would just let the gameplay speak for me. Alright, that should have screwed over Gray, I'm pretty sure. No, not quite. Which is gonna hit him a little harder before I end up shooting him. Because I don't think that's gonna kill him. Oh, I was trying to drop a mine right in front of him instead of eight of mine. Yeah, your car is a weapon. So I like to ram the enemy quite hard. Now this guy. I'm gonna show him what it means to mess with me. I love the air relay. This, this puppy lasts me for pretty much all the game. Now that I have three missiles, I can afford to miss. Oh. Ha ha ha, I'm punny. Let the carnage begin! Rip the pot to blow! Just me and you, Orange. Me and you. That's okay. I slowed down to pick up that Martin armor pickup. My gold! <laughs> All right, if that's how you guys want to play it. So I wish more racing games were like this. Someone just spawned there, I think. So I was aiming at the orange. I didn't notice any guy in front of me. Okay, that dude just fired five pellets. That's all right, though. I still have Orange's number. Oh, 
Sandberg fades into lap. Olaf lights him up. Dredd fades into lap. Olaf. With enough nitros, though, you'd never really need to fire your missiles. I just enjoy it. The stage is set. The green flag drops. Viper jams into first. Olaf lights them up. If you ram a guy hard enough when he's in midair, he will go flying. I did no such thing here, but that's just something to keep in mind. I have played this game with a lot of, a lot of different people. I've played this game online. I think with the misses, with some friends. I even had this uh, zipped up in a file to easily send it to friends so that I could play them this game. <laughs> I, I remember renting this from Blockbuster all the time. I knew I would get ran to death, but I figured I'd get at least one kill out of it. Now when you have seven missiles, that's a lot more impressive. Because then everybody dies, since it takes only two missiles to kill a person. Oh, I'm sorry, Purple. Did I hurt your feelings? Let's get some more nitros. Let the carnage begin! Viper jams into first! Rip fades into last! He may have had a little bit of punishment there. That's something I would do with infuriating accuracy, too. Like, right after the finish line, I'd turn around and shoot people across the map. <laughs> I just kind of gauge it. I got very good at killing human players. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I've probably played more human players against this game than anybody, even the playtesters for this game. <laughs> no, I have trouble getting across. Pur purple apparently did not. I keep trying to screw someone over just so you guys can see what it's like for the AI to get totally confused. Olaf was lost out there. 
I'm slowing down because I want. Darn it! <laughs> I was trying to make him ram me so that he would have no speed. Now the AI, they don't stay in these cars forever. They level up with you. Well, maybe not with you. They level up regardless of you. It's your job to get better, and it's your job to have better cars. If you ever get yourself in a situation, though, where you can't make any money, you can't win any races, so you end up fourth place and you get no money, you're gonna have to like drive backwards to the map get collecting gold bars or something. I heard the shots, so I thought I'd evasive maneuvers. I'm deliberately ramming him. I'm sure he'll eventually shoot me. I'll piss him off so much he'll decide to shoot me. That works too. Now I have health. That's how you turn. No. Was it worth it? I don't know. I had fun. Does that count? Oh, I don't know why I'm mashing the button. You probably want to see this. Space. So we win the game, that's all of it. No, no, actually just go into the next planet where we kick some more butt. Every planet has a native to that planet that's purple. So in this case, it's the guy on the right. Uh, he's your strongest opponent. So in the last planet, Purple was our strongest opponent, but he was indistinguishable from the other two AI, who will always be following you from planet to planet. This guy, though, watch out for this guy. If you can get over this slump, you know, th this bump in your, uh, in your gameplay, you'll be okay for the rest of the game. Except for Ice Planet. Ice Planet sucks. So I did manage to tag Orange, but he managed to survive it anyways. This green oil right there, that's actually ooze that slows you down. Ramming a foe does not get you any money if you kill him. I was trying for the gold bar, but I end up sending flies are flying, so you got the experience of that. Question is, can I still make first? I'm not too sure. 
My opponent has a serious lead on me. No, it doesn't look like it. I tried for the gold bar again, but I almost lost second place. Here's the money values. First place gets you 10,000 prize money. Wow, you get 400 points towards your next division. Second place gets 7,000, and third place gets 4,000. Fourth place gets Jack Diddley Squat! If, with enough mines, of course, you can also end up uh, heavily, heavily punishing anybody who behind you, period. Let the carnage begin! Um, but however, they are, my, they are part of my least favorite purchase. But they are funny to use, um, because <laughs> it, it just sucks for the opponent to have to deal with it. Because you, your, your car hops a little bit when you run over a mine, so you can't really turn or accelerate very well. My favorite use of mines is to keep just dropping them so that you never blow up on a mine. Looks like they took each other out, because I didn't hit anybody. Normally it's a little more controlled than that, but I forgot to save a Nitro, so I wanted to hurry up. Now with a good turbo, you can actually jump that ramp around this corner. But it's pretty risky. I probably fail it like half the time. And that's the game. I think you've got the point of it by now. It's really fun with two-player. Mainly because you're always constantly trying to kill each other. And that's, that's how I picked up my I'm gonna turn around at the end of the racetrack and unleash a volley of unbearable missiles. That's a turbo right there. Unfortunately, I just missed everything. That's everybody. I love doing that. I don't think I actually get points for a purple, though. It's my own mind, too. I was trying to- I was tapping the button to drop a mine right there. And in fact, I just ended up dodging him. <laughs> Cold bar. No, you are asking. Oh, that's a big deal. You're playing Olaf. You can't do no, no. I can I can totally get first place with a wimpy car and one of the novice pilots. Like there's a pilot I think would like jump or something, and maybe I don't know top speed. No, I, I wouldn't say that's a necessary great combo. Jump and top speed. I like acceleration and top speed. If I had to pick a normal character, that'd be acceleration and top speed. So now I have four green circles on the top right. So I can take uh, I can take three missiles now. So getting that getting that one point of armor will actually help substantially against the human player. Or just against purple if nothing else. Olaf, light them up! Shred fades in the last! 
Now, every time you cross the lap or finish line, you end up getting all your resources back. That's why, like, that's why I was sitting right there. That's a lot of oil. <laughs> Normally you won't even see that much because oil is only on the novice cars. And uh, nobody really sticks in the novice cars for long. Now if you're in versus mode though, you will just tear your hair out dealing with oil. Versus mode is basically the same laps, but all your cars are maxed. The nose. That was kind of brutal. You'll see that I'm the only player surviving all that. You can see the minimap blips just disappear. I think I've fallen off that ramp more than once. Need a little bit more hydro spring, I think. That was a good one. Lap, lap, grinder is dominating the race. Rip was lost out there. Now the ramps do make it hard to missile too, because your opponent's busy flying up and down in the sky. So I got second place this time. Let's take a look to see if I've uh, got an acceptable level of Hydro Springs. Yeah, I didn't think I bought any of that. Now I have. Let the carnage begin! So I don't know, I mean, this may not be anything anybody wanted, but I didn't know what else to do for 100 subscribers, because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to YouTube. I know. I'm an I, without, it's gonna sound arrogant, but I am an excellent gamer. I just suck when it comes to anything, uh, like, like, YouTube. I don't know anything about it. Like, I, I hardly really know the function of a subscriber. All I think, I think it just means that, uh, you wish to have an email or a message stating I've uploaded something. I think that's what it means. I'll probably eat a missile before long. No, laser. I remember my finger hurting playing this game, actually, holding on the acceleration button for like, you know, hours straight. Because that's all you, that, that's what you do, is you hold down the acceleration button, and then every other finger you have works on turning your vehicle. Because <laughs> I, I use two, two turns, basically. So if I push my left thumb to the right, I press my index finger to the right as well, or I push the index finger on the shoulder button. Now the question is, do I want to go ahead and level up my division? Might as well. In a normal game, I wouldn't. If it was just me, I would consider just like maxing out my car first. In fact, I would max it out on the first world, first division. That's what I would do. Is the race. 
But because I'm playing for you, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going because it would be boring to watch me fail this, you know, on purpose and then replay the exact same things. I already replayed the maps enough as it is. Because this is still Division B, I've still got to do all of it over again with Division A. Now, if you if you fire a bunch of your, if you fire a bunch of your weapons at the same time, uh, Larry will say something like "Olaf unleashes hot fury." That was a signal for uh, my opponents to realize that if they weren't watching my screen, that, that they needed to look at it then. <laughs> I don't think I hit anybody. That's fine. I don't want to spend too long because I'm gonna lose my lead if I do. Olaf is about to blow. A week ending. Olaf. How much are tires? Finally, I killed two more people. The carnage begins! Rift is about to blow! Something like that. Shred fades into last! Grinder is dominating the race! Uh, he blew up on me first before I ended up missing him. One of the things I loved to do to a player was wait until they crossed ooze and then blow them up over it. I didn't have as many misses as I thought I did. Keep thinking I have more missiles. I don't know where I'm getting that from. Whoops. Way off. Oh, and I missed- my finger missed that button there and I fired another missile instead of another nitro. Alright, well, consider that the enemy handicap. Can I still make it? I should be able to. No! Apparently not. Now, of course, I would... I would do a lot better if I wasn't trying to kill them. But I like killing them. That's my... That's one of the reasons I love this game, is because I get to kill everybody. Like, the only other game I th can think of that's like this is Carmageddon, and even then, the, the emphasis is less on, uh, you know, all this wild antics and more on, like, turning everybody into a like, grease, blo uh, grease or bloody stain on the floor. I mean, even dealing with the police is annoying on that game. So right now I'm playing, I'm scratching my face with one hand. <laughs> because I use two different turns with both my both, both left hand and right hand, I can, I can still turn with okay accuracy. I like that one. <laughs> Olaf should avoid, like, the missus and I still make run that line every now and then to each other. So we'll say, Mrs. Tran, I had to actually use our first name, should avoid mines! And she'll know totally where that's coming from. Now, Gray's, it looks like he's in front of me, but he must have fallen or something, because I'm, it says I'm first. Alright, and I am now second, or third, or whatever. Nope, he just jumped over my missiles. Remember how I talked about that? When on the ramp, the missiles, they stay hovering over the ground. But the player could go flying. 
And this is one of the reasons why I consider seriously just uh, staying on a low level planet and just racking up the dough. See, I have four missiles, and it sucks not to fire. The enemy usually stays on the outside lane, so if you're not on the outside lane, you're generally okay. I think there's a medikit somewhere on this side. There it is. Those missiles were hot on my tail. But I had four armor points. Like, I might have gotten nicked a bit from ramming speed. Now, there's more cars in this, actually. As you progress through the planets, you'll find more cars unlocked for you. Probably should get Nitro, frankly. But I love missiles. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. So right now there is no new car. Not until I get to the next planet, which is the jungle planet, if I remember right. Then you get a tank. And it's pretty cool too, but I don't like to wait so long that I miss it. Because cause it you have to basically ride four different divisions before you get to the tank. At least I think it's the tank. There's like a jungle planet, then a magma planet, and then like a, an ice planet. I hate the ice planet. <laughs> It's not really that bad. It's just fun. It's just fun to have something to pretend to gripe about. I don't actually care one way or another about it. By the time you get to the ice planet, you have money to buy the hovercraft. I don't really like the hovercraft's weapons, though. It's these little homing orbs that you know, they're, they're not they're not satisfying. I, I just don't know. They don't do a lot of damage. They, you don't have to really aim them that hard. It's just not satisfying. A missile into the enemy. That's satisfying. But I will say one thing, the hovercraft's mines are great. But it's the same mines I think the tank has. I can't quite remember if the tank has uh, stationary mines or shrapnel mines. The shrapnel mines um, are very temporary. They don't last very long. They, you, you just poop it out and then it spreads out and disappears. Like whether or not it hits anybody. So every new planet is a new racetrack, uh, or a series of racetracks. Some of the racetracks still repeat, just with a different skin. But when you get to the harder planets, man, one of the reasons why the ice planet sucks is because those races, I feel like they take forever. Uh, it's just loops upon loops on itself. And there's a bunch of pits. So if you're like skidding off to your doom, you'll fall right into a pit and then you'll just have to wait till you finish blowing up. It's kind of like in Mario Kart, you know, if you imagine yourself flying off the map, you don't, you no longer, you don't have to just wait for yourself to respawn, you have to wait for yourself to finish dying. So this is what the game looks like if I'm not worried about shooting enemies. It's just me doing this. And that's why I like to turn around, toy with my pose, and, you know, shoot them to pieces. Right here, though, is where I love to shoot missiles. 
So next time I, I, I'm on that section, if I'm fast enough to catch up to the enemy, I'll shoot missiles across the gap there. Looks like Gray blew up to my mind, so that should buy me a little extra time. Well, that was a little distracting. I guess someone was pounding on the door. AFK for a moment. Alright, in the old days, you often ended up having to save your characters using a password. So this would be my password right here. Uh, this is on an emulator, so I'm just going to make a save there, and I'm actually done. Perhaps to end off this, to send you off, we'll do a, I'll see if the missus is up for a two-player game. So it's not that she's just driving me off here. Alright, and we're back. Uh, they were home for maybe like half an hour uh, for a restock and resupply before their next outing trip. So, I actually have more time to record. This is their AFK screensaver. I'm going to hit a button now, and it's going to go away. The stage is set. The green flag drops. I, I unfortunately no longer feel quite as hyped up as I was before. Like, like I'm approaching this in a uh, monotone, bored, and dull fashion. So I need to try to get back into the groove. That's one thing about, like, say, uh, performing is, I don't mean, like, just videos, but, uh, some of it, it's not fake as it is, more like whipping everybody into a frenzy, both yourself and your audience. Um, in that way it is artificial. But it's more like cultivated to grow. Uh, what I'm, you know, I'm not exactly a very good cultivator in that sense, because I, I still barely show enough emotion as it is. Um, in fact, I played, uh, what is it, Cards Against Humanity <laughs> online with some people earlier, uh, my relatives, and my brother-in-law's friend, after, like, you know, talking to me for a bit, said that it's pretty much like playing against someone who, who goes, like, who's thinking mentally. I wonder how these humans will feel about this joke, ha ha ha. You know, I was thinking, well, that's kind of um, vaguely affusing, because that's kind of how I am, just... Uh, I'm, I'm even a lot less emotional when I'm, you're, you're talking to me and I'm not not uh, doing this. I'm not, apparently not paying any attention because I didn't even realize I was second. I think people can think I'm funny when I when I have the tools to be so, would do so. I guess it's just I don't think it's funny. Like for me, it's not funny in the slightest. But I'll just like put it out there. And people think that's like so hilarious. I guess it's kind of dry humor, dad humor. I don't know. See, so, yeah, when you're in the lead, you don't actually need missiles. It's just fun to use missiles. But if you really wanted to win, you would forget about engines and armor and just try try nitros all the way. You'd buy an airblade just so you could nitro your way to victory. You can have up to seven of any. Uh, uh, seven missiles, seven nitro, seven mines. But to me, it, do it doesn't feel like I'm really rocking or rolling. I'm just, I'm just racing. What if I, if I do this? Cause I don't, I haven't seen anybody in a while. If it weren't for the mini map, I might think I'm alone. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did have another missile. I just wasn't firing. I was trying to fire when I was facing straight down. Eat a mine. Olaf scores a first place knockout. Now, when you get enough points, you can advance without having to wait all the way. So, if I want two more first places, I could just jump ahead. I will be hurting myself though doing that. So well, I won't necessarily slow myself down. I, I guess I'll just ref refrain from advancing too fast. Ow. Ow. 
Jawohl. Only one of those mines was mine. I think he avoided that one because he was busy hopping away from another one. Remember, mines make you go in the air, and when you're in the air, you don't get hit by another mine. You can't drive or turn very well either, but you don't you don't necessarily go through an entire streak of mines. That being said, you can definitely die to mines. Let's deal with purple, because I want to get my first place back. Have a mine. When he respawns, he'll get popped by that mine. He won't die, he'll just sort of bounce. I'm not actually saving money for the next vehicle or anything. I, I just haven't bothered spending it. I know, I know, it's woefully inefficient on me. Right now, like I said, I'm kind of letting my hair down, so to speak. I'm not worried about min-maxing every little thing. It's kind of a stressful way to go about it. It's one of the reasons why I don't actually have much fun playing games. I do enjoy it, it's just I wouldn't call it fun, especially if I have not throw in editing and such into it. Um, it's a lot of work, and I don't regret it, it's just work. It's not quite a bit of work, uh, especially with as much editing as I do. Because I'm not quite happy with all the audio. Uh, I, I do a lot of audio work because I'm so bland and boring when it comes to my voice. And I have so much background sound going on, such as the squeak of my chairs or the click of my mouse. So one of the things is, because I was playing two-player, I would end up with so rich that I would just be maxed out. Here's the thing, I have... I had, I'd have a... Because you would end up fighting the other player so much, if, if you were fighting the player a lot, then one of you would likely not have the 2,000 needed. And so, this guy right here, this captain, he would say like, hey, leave your loser friend behind or something if you did that and become a one-player game. <laughs> Uh, so, you both need the score requisite to go on to the next division. So, you were either working together so that one of you would be like winning constantly and be rich, or you were fighting each other and, and you'd have to wait for the other guy to eventually get strong enough to survive your constant madness that you're, that you're unleashing upon him. So, let's so imagine, if you were one of my opponents and I was just pummeling you with missiles day in and day out, you know, you wouldn't necessarily make second or third place a lot. You might. But not if I was specifically aiming for you, because it's, you know, more fun to, to attack a player than there's a, a computer. And, of course, I expected to, 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 for the opponent to do the same to me. But anyways, so you, you would basically be softening each other up. And one of the players would probably be like fourth place like half the time. <laughs> so, uh, you, you couldn't really leave. You'd, you'd just repeat the same map. So, whereas I would keep getting my car better and better, my opponent would just slowly be getting their car out of the hole that they've been put in. But on the bright side, because the score was needed for both players, my opponent would never be so overwhelmed that they could never compete against the AI. They just couldn't compete against me. And I, like I said, I played this game a lot. I would play, I would play a lot of people. I had, as, as I pointed out before, I had a, a file compressed just to pass this game to people, complete with ROM and emulator, so I could, I could play my friends online. I'd be like, all right, here we go, let's go, let's rock. Yeah, I'd say so. I think I pretty much missed everything. 
I was trying to get a, a one turn, one angle away from northwest. I probably should have gotten an engine, but it's fine. I now have max nitros. Free go bar. Free mine for you. Free mine for me. Missed. Killing someone on a mountain or slash ramp is a real rough thing to do because you might even spawn and start sliding backwards off the hill you're on. I gotta remember that gold bar. Alright, gold bar on the inside of this next turn. Slow down. At some point, though, you probably will want to upgrade from the airplane. It just depends on what kind of car you want, the tank or the hovercraft. But just so you know, going from a max airplane to a level 1 tank, it's not a pretty thing, so you, you'd want to save up a little more money than just the tank itself. Will I get the tank? I don't know. I probably won't even play that long. Um, I, I, this is supposed to be a fun little thing, and I don't know if you guys really want to watch me play the whole circuit. If I natural rammed him, he'd die. I don't think nitroing on ooze does do you really any good. It's just I kind of do it out of habit. Like, I'm going slow, so I need to go fast. So I just smash the nitro button. This season's over with. 
sit down, strap in, and shut up. All right, so that's the battle tank right there. I'm halfway through with the game now. No, no, I'm... I think there's, what, six planets? There's, uh, this is the jungle planet. There's the lava planet. And then there's the ice planet. So I've already gone through two, two fifths of the game. Remember that the latter half, the latter chunk is gonna be harder. Both in length and in uh, race. That's what water does, I forgot about that. I knew that there was something besides oil. Now that everybody has air blades, the competition's back, pretty much. So, you got tired of watching me dominate before. It's no longer gonna be the case. Anything I do at this point, I'm gonna have to really fight for. No, is it impossible? No. Is this gonna be hard? Maybe. It definitely won't be the same kickwalk it was before. Let's see if we can get any of those gold bars. Nope. I thought there was one in the middle, but someone must have sweeped across it. See if we can get the skull bar this time then. I don't think so. I not only got the gold bar, but I got a free kill out of that. Let the carnage begin! Rage's about to blow! Now this you'll see has two roots. Either one is fine, it doesn't matter. Olaf is dominating the race! Olaf lights him up! Shreds jams in the first! Rip fades in the last! You are not getting away from me. I don't think so. Stylin. Barely avoided falling off to my doom. But see, that's a lot more fun than just sort of racing what seems to be by myself, completely far ahead of the pack. It's just a 
taking everyone down. That's what I think is fun. Complete and utter domination. After enough rams, the computer kind of gets tired of you and kills you. <laughs> I gotta catch up to Gray. I'm trying hard to catch up to Gray. If I can just kill him once, darn it. I was gonna say, if I can just kill him once, then it'll make up for my death, my my inevitable death. I lost. Boo! This one, I feel like the AI gets screwed up on a lot. I don't quite know why, but I feel like they, they fail a lot here. Maybe it's because I park myself in front of the red arrow. <laughs> and let me show you what I mean. I might lose doing this, but it'll be funny anyways. Well, it would help if I actually hit anybody there. I'm just not hitting anybody. I need to take it a little more seriously that night. If I killed him enough on the cross, no, no. If I killed him enough on the crossroads, he'd actually start going northeast slash north. As always, be careful on your ramps. Make sure your car is lined up perfectly or you'll end up flying off to your doom. I didn't get to show you. I want to show you, but I still want to win. That's the problem. Whoa! And that happens more often than you than I'd care to happen. I was kind of caught between wanting to go on the ramp and wanting to grab those gold bars. See what I mean? Just one little. I am so far behind, the A is about to lap me. Yeah, just one little accidental notch off and your character will just die. You will just suffer for it. I'm gonna get some more kills. I think I only got like two kills on all that. Now, you may be wondering, like, why'd you do that? Are you pouting? No, it's because I'm trying to salvage the best out of a bad situation. If I just raced as this, I'd make nothing out of being fourth. 
But if I stopped to kill that enemy, I'm still four. I just got some extra money out of it. I thought about doing that the moment I realized, the moment I first died too, because then I could use that for all my laps. But I thought I still had a chance. Let the carnage begin! No, if you're not careful on that ramp jump, you'll end up landing. Okay, like that's not what I was talking about. You'll end up uh, jumping on top of the next platform, and you'll have to—you'll actually have to ease yourself back off, or it won't count. Okay, purple. You see that? He is now restarting his lap, so that'll give me a little extra time to not worry about him. Gray, on the other hand, is way ahead. And that's me getting on the wrong side of the ramp. Well, I was hoping to screw over Gray so I could catch up to him, but unfortunately, no such luck. I am second, I'll need a Gray. I'm a little tired of that, though. That's what I mean by, uh, ramp death. And I am third. Oh, it's not over yet. Thought it was. See if I can do anything about gray or orange then. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything about orange. I just can't line up on him at all. Oh, the mine stole my kill. Fine, I will grudgingly accept first place, even though none of that blood is on my hands. Or you may consider me an accomplice, but none of the credit is mine either. With enough mines laid out, it will ruin a person's nitro as well. You know what I remember now? I, I remember using the water to fire backwards. I'm, I don't think I've got the skill to do it anymore, but let's see. Uh, I kind of was off a little bit on both shots. Let's try again. I've got three more. Nope. One of them was remotely in the correct direction, the other two were not. Still, it's, there's really no point in not firing them at that point anyways. There! <laughs> I got the guy that was on my tail. Just gotta avoid the final death uh, volley that the computer likes to do right before the finish line. Because it makes sense. They've got nothing to lose at that point. They might as well just try to shoot you. And they actually do succeed pretty regularly. About 
Let's see if there's any more gold bars on this side. Nope. The computer does pick them up, but not on purpose. It doesn't benefit the computer in any way, though. No! <laughs> I, I got second, but it was pretty cool second. I, uh, my finger slipped when I was tur making the right turn, and I only used one hand to turn rather than two hands. Was it worth it? Not really, not point-wise, but it was still more entertaining than just winning. At least for me. I lost basically $1,000 doing so, but I got the satisfaction of knowing that the enemy is scared of me. The reason I know I lost 1000 is because uh, second place is 7000 as opposed to 10000 that's what I got. And I killed two players, which is 1000 each. That was a complete waste of missiles. Let's deal with Gray now. Wow, stuck. Oh, he had more hit points than I thought he did. Ah, at least I'm not fourth. I was trying very hard to ram them, and this is what happened. Alright, now I gotta catch up to Gray. Can I do that? Let's find out. Serious mode. Don't feel like I'm any closer to him than I was when I started that lap. Lined up, but that's all because that wasn't a good turn to do it on. Given that I was an outside lane going south, if I turned left, I'd, or I'd have to angle it. If I turned right, I'd be I still have to angle it. Lots and lots of money. What am I saving it for? I don't know. I don't really want the hovercraft. You kind of, it's kind of expected for you to get it. I should get it just so you can laugh at it. Let's try to avoid getting myself thrown off the cliffs. Really, the simple solution is not to nitro off a ramp, but it's fun to nitro off a ramp. <laughs> Is dominating the race. 
Ah, I slowed down to get it and I still missed it. Really? Really? I got nothing. I don't even- I'm not even sure I got a kill for that. I probably got like two gold bars. Let the carnage begin! Let's take some rage out on them. Man! I have lost my touch. Oh, I've really lost my touch. Olaf, what's lost out there? Well, I'll show you something that I don't normally do. Actually, we'll go to, to the next end of the lap. Sometimes cars and air can smash into each other. Olaf was lost out there. Is about to Man, none of them are gonna die. Three missiles, three opponents. Surely I can kill them. One. Let's see, this side. Ah. Oh. Okay. So now, give up. Because they're gonna if they're gonna finish all their last before I even get to the finish line to restart. I was already gonna be fourth. I was gonna, I was fourth, period. I failed. I failed by one good race. Should I end on that note? I don't know. I mean, should I upgrade? Let's see how much new car is. I think it's like 108 or something, if I remember right. It's, 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 it's ugly. It's ugly what the price is. 110. I barely have enough to upgrade to the battle tank. If I upgrade to the battle tank, that is it. I, I, ha I have no more money and no supplies. Alright, well, how about this? Why don't I edit out me racing this next set of division races that where I don't actually worry about having fun and I just worry about winning first place. It's which is tons of money and tons of points. I'll take my gold out of the bar or out of your hide, one way or another. Why am I my car still spinning? I can't turn. It's like kept turning me to. It's still spinning. I'm not hitting anything. Not good. Oh, I missed the armor too.
the carnage begins! Now, fortunately for me, I'm still questioning myself if this is what I should be doing for the subscriber special. Like, I don't really know what else to do. Other than make it a game. The thing is, that makes me doubt that the most is, uh... The average view time for my videos is 7 minutes. And my videos are all, my videos are all pretty long. Like 30 minutes, an hour... That way you get the most bang for your advertisement that you have to sit through. Now, I still do, yes, I do put advertisements on many of those videos, because I do want to try to leave my job and do this full-time. That would mean more videos for me to, to record and more videos for you to watch. And, hopefully, one day get so much that I can afford to pay someone to edit these for me. Man, it, it takes me so long to play a game because I have to edit it. I'd say that take, for every hour I play, it's basically two hours of editing and rendering total. And that's just like a very rough estimate. And dead. Stolen. That's right, Olaf. That's all. That's all you need to know. The world ends with Olaf. The world begins with Olaf and ends with Olaf. Actually, I gamed, not, not this game, but I gamed with someone who went by the name Olaf, and it was a girl. And, uh, I told her that every time I heard her name, I pictured this hairy dwarf. <laughs> I never really thought of a girl being named Olaf. Not quite sure what, how she took that. <laughs> but this is the, this will forever be the Olaf for, for me. If I touch a mine, I'm a goner. Boom! I think I might have nitroed into it too. It seems to happen more often than not. We're end up wasting a nitro. He can have another mine. Let the carnage begin! I wanted that money pickup. Oh, I managed to knock purple. And see him on the map? He's starting over essentially. Olaf lights him up! Green was lost out there! I was hoping to slide. I was hoping to slam my cart into him actually and screw him over more. Nah. And I didn't have a mine. Ended up eating a mine instead. Unfortunately, they have armor, so it's. A little more tedious to try to score kills off of him. Gone are the days of just camping a guy and just shooting two missiles, killing him, and waiting for him to respawn, shooting two more missiles. Not that you saw me do that. Not really. You watch me play two player, and we will. The stage is set. The green flag drops. Green 
Uh, I was hoping I slip managed to slam orange onto the ramp. That would really screw him over. Uh, and gray or orange still made it. Well, not for long. Aerial kill. And he's starting over. Don't screw up. That's what attack bonus means. It means you get a thousand bucks for killing someone. Mystical bars look run into the mines. Why wouldn't it be that way? If you want to fire a missile, do it. I can't fault him. I've done it to him so many times. I can't remember anything in particular, but I know I had to have done so. I'm pretty much the most ruthless driver. Not careless, ruthless. Olaf powers up. Olaf lights him up. Olaf is about to blow. Last lap. My finger's starting to hurt from holding on to acceleration this whole time. Like, if I've been playing for two hours, I've essentially been holding down the button for two hours. Don't missile me! Missile shred! I play with the acceleration button on my finger, like index finger, I mean. So I can use missiles and mines at a moment's whim rather than using thumb. Most people would probably normally use their thumb. So it probably doesn't hurt as bad after a while. I'm just gonna eat all the mines you leave behind, okay? And I knew that was there too, and I was trying to avoid it while I was spinning. The moment that cross that finish line, missiles go flying. I needed that armor pickup. Grabbing armor pickups also prevent the enemy from healing, so it's not a bad idea to grab it even if you're fully healthy. That way they can bicker amongst themselves and someone dies. This looks promising. Nope. 
Wow, that was sad. If I win this race, I have enough points to advance. The question is, will I advance? Or just, I might as well. Since I've already lost this division. Again, if it was just me, I would milk the first planet with my airblade. You also can't drop a mine unless you're on the ground. So when you're like busy hopping in the air with all these little ramps, no mines can be laid. I say that because I think I missed the opportunity to mine that guy right there. I figure I'll take this way for a change. Alright, let's advance early. Oh, Division A, I thought it was going on in a new planet. Alright. The stage is set, the green flag drops! Rip down to the first! It's a ruthless game. Where do you think I get my ruthlessness from? I can't turn because he's busy ramming me. I like that. That's one of my favorite lines. Ola jams in the verse. I've really got to remember those good bars. Yes, why don't I just collect all the mines for you guys? Alright, gold bars. Close one. Olaf is right. Let the carnage begin! Olaf is about to blow! Wow, that was rough. Remember, when you're getting smashed around, your car does turn on its own. I don't, I don't have to be the one behind the steering wheel behind the weird turns. Two, three, no, one more missile. Let's get your name on it. Oh, he just picked up a medikit. I'm eating his missiles, and I am falling off to my doom. 
so much for a triumphant return. thought about turning around and collecting all the gold bars, including the one right after the finish line. That would require driving all the way backwards. That was a fail! The stage is set. The green flag dropped. Probably would've won first place if I hadn't gone after him. In fact, I know I would've. Not for long. No, I need I need more Larry in my life, I think. Because I'm, I'm better at talking with him than by myself. We all need a little more Larry in our life. Wish this fly would stop bothering me. Fly keeps landing in my face. A little hard to drive doing this. I expected to go flying off to my death collecting that money bar. Alright, I think there's a medikit right around this corner. Play this game and you feel like a badass. <laughs> Oh, 
up. Let the carnage begin! None of that is what I had in mind. I can milk a little more money, you know, running the lab and shooting them, but let's just get on with it. I've got cash, I just need points. I could always use more cash. I'm not saying I'm maxed on money or, or that I uh, can afford everything in a new car. No, but. You're tired of watching me run these levels, I think. You want to see new maps. You want to see new cars. I'm doing more than play for myself. I'm playing for... everyone. Tran plays for everyone. Got you. Not sure if it's worth it. I guess it depends on how many kills I got by spinning around like that. But I did say I needed points, not money, so whatever. I just. Let the carnage begin! It is more fun to slaughter people. The trail of corpses, the trail of debris, the trail of wreckage I leave behind. That's a testament to my awesomeness. When you're first like this, it's a barren wasteland. There's nothing there to greet you, nothing there to cement your victory. It's just you and the road. Everybody's gonna hit that mine with me. I didn't go far enough in with it. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. Since it's the last lab, I'll just drop a mine right before I get there. Two more wins. I've got four races to go, or two victories, two first places. I don't really consider a second place I win. I don't consider that a win either. Holy Toledo! I can thank this game for teaching me that phrase. Olaf looks lost out there.
The missiles don't go on forever. They do they do dissipate after a while, so you can't actually fire across the map with it. You can come pretty darn close though. Oh, you managed to die in a mine. Mines are a good way to secure first place if you're like second or you're having trouble catching up to someone. Ugh. No, he had a nitro! <laughs> well played, purple. Well played. One first and one third would suffice. As long as I can make a first. Should be able to go onto the new planet. Yeah, <laughs> eat that purple. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I rammed them so. Dip, uh, that's why I spent so much time ramming them on the ramps. It's more. It, <laughs> you've seen what happens to me. Imagine being the computer, or imagine if it was so, someone did that to you. <laughs> Oh, it's trying to whip me real smooth and collect just the medikit. It's fine, I've got a mine now. I'll just drop the mine when I get there. Oh, I thought I was I thought I looked to go on. You having trouble, Orange? Would you like to catch up to me? Catch up to this. No. And I am third, but I took Orange down with me. I don't know if that's worth it. I guess it's not if I don't make first next round. We will see. The stage is set. The green flag dropped. I still missed it. Green is about to blow. Olaf, light him up. Wow. Is dominating the race. That was rough. Out there. Maybe going so fast the screen's tearing. Yeah, that's not good. Maybe I should uh, save and reset. And I launched myself to death. Alright, I made it. We're gonna advance a level. Sit down, strap in, and shut up.
Nope, no new car yet. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna save here, but... I'm gonna reset the game. And use this password. I don't know if it'll help at all. Whoops. No. I gotta get to two more divisions in order to get the new car. Oh, I forgot about this planet. I thought it was weird that uh, there was, because I, I thought I thought on the lava planet you ended up getting the the new car. But then when I came here and there was the new new car, I was like, oh man, I completely forgot about this. This is the desert planet. So now you see why I say that the air blade pretty much lasts you the whole game. Because once you get to the lava planet, there's there's only two planets left, the lava and the ice planet. Oh, and you only unlock the harder planets if you're playing on the harder difficulty modes, otherwise the game ends early. I think if you're playing on Rookie, the game ends after the jungle planet. So the only way to go onto the harder planets is to be on the harder mode. I don't know. I want to show you here. Let's, here's what I'll do. I'll end. I'll, uh, I'll finish this race. Like obviously, I can make it. You can see that I'm making it. But at some point, this is gonna be stop being fun for people. If it's not already, you know. Like I think people can only take me racing for so long. So I'll probably have to edit out some of those races. Um, but at some point, it's gonna stop being fun for people. I'm more like a chore to watch me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save after I finish, and I'm going to show you versus mode. Just a little bit. There's not- it's basically your cars are all souped up, so there's no more- no more building up your car. It's just done. Alright, so let me make a save here. And maybe someday we'll get back to it. So here are your different heroes. Tarquin has top speed and cornering. Jake has acceleration cornering. He's a good second. Katarina jumping and cornering. Not really all that good. Ivan is jumping at top speed, which is kind of an odd mix. Cyberhawk is acceleration jumping. I don't really like jumping all that much. And Snake is acceleration and top speed. If it wasn't Olaf, I'd be Snake. I'm gonna go and be Snake this time. So the Dirt Devil is not all that great of a car, but I mean, I'm going to show you a little bit. The score isn't used for anything other than just, you know, showing which players have made what, how many wins they've made, essentially. Alright, watch this. Alright, just watch how much oil gets built up over time. Oh, and I'd be careful about jumping if I were you. You're probably gonna end up sending yourself flying to your death more often than not. As each race goes on, that oil power, I'm just gonna keep building and building up. And it's gonna be rather, rather uh, painful for everybody to get through. I 
Cooper jams into first. Last lap. <laughs> Look at him. I'm trying to turn to the right. <laughs> Bye bye, Viper. There's only one real good reason to jump. It's towards the end. You both to look cool and to keep the enemy from blowing you to oblivion. So, as you might have noticed, it didn't actually cost me any money to buy these cars, because in versus mode, you can get whatever car you want. Like this. This is where we were. Chem 6. Bring your gas mask to, to race on this smoggy, overcrowded world. Draconis. The locals here are very fond of humans. For dinner. Alright, now you saw how crazy you can get with oil. Here's how crazy you can get with mines. The carnage begins. Oh, and double the craziness if you're playing two player, obviously. That's in me where my mines are left. I dropped 14 mines right there. Grinder lost out there. Dread fades in the last. Someone died behind me. Now there is one cool thing about the tanks and mines. So the, the little cluster mines, there's something cool about them. That's why while they don't do as much damage, because when you get hit you start spinning. And they they uh when when they cluster when they spread out, they're very they, they hit people very easily. So it's it's awesome to use these on ramps. I think it might even hurt the player that, that summoned them, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's find out. Let me, let me actually not move, and I'm going to drop a mine on myself. The stage is set. The green flag dropped. Yeah, it hurts me. You saw me hop there. Whoops. That's death. Holy Toledo! You know what? Let's just try. Let's just give up. Let's we'll start a new map on this one. I have an idea. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go to the jungle world? Since you hadn't really gotten the chance to see that. Prison planet. Victory will not be easy here. Let the carnage begin. Wipe out! I'm looking for a map with lots of jumps. I don't know if I'll find any. Fine, whatever. We're all battle tanks. Oh, except for Grey, apparently. Grey's kind of a technology behind, generally. I think ever, all the time, actually. Purple's always ahead, followed by orange and gray. That's how they are technology-wise. Technology so the tank is really, really smooth compared to the Airblade. It's just, it's too expensive to go from the Airblade to the tank. So an interesting thing would be if you were playing two players who knew what they were doing, and one of them decided he would try to save for the tank, and the other one went Airblade immediately. Who would, who would prosper in the long run? Would it be the guy who got the immediate short-term gain, or would it be the guy who had the much uh, you know, the, the nice reign of terror when he had the battle tank. I don't know. I feel like in versus mode, it just uses the different, the same racetracks as the first planet, just with a different skin. 
Whereas if I was playing this in a real turn tournament mode, I don't think it'd be this map. I don't. I think it'd be a different. I think the racetrack would be different, like its own racetracks essentially. They don't really copy and paste racetracks in the real mode. There are there's some that's reused, some assets that were reused, but not, nothing major. So all technology being equal, I still rock. The car selection is dependent on which place you are at. So, for me to try the, for me to show you the anti-grav vehicle, the Havoc, spelled with an eight, I have to go to the Ice Planet. And it's here's a recommendation: don't buy a blue Havoc. No, don't, don't, don't buy a blue Havoc. Here, let me, let me, let me get a blue Havoc for you. Here's why: on the Ice Planet, it's gonna be hard for you to be spotted. It, it's just, it, it's just not a good idea. Even if blue is your favorite color, you may want to avoid being blue. Unless you're really good at watching yourself, which, you know, can be the case. Remember you're moving at lightning speed and stuff. So yeah, if you're like... It's, but if you're like playing split screen and it's, maybe you're playing with someone who doesn't, uh, you know, isn't that familiar with the game, you want to avoid letting your, play, your ally be blue or your enemy be blue. So the mines are the same, but the front shot is different. These are homing shots. They just don't- I don't even think they do a full hit of damage, though. So this vehicle is purely for racing, and while racing is in the name of the game, you know I like to kill more than I like to race. Believe me, I can race. I know how to race. Look at this. Now the homing shots aren't, don't last forever, but they do last a considerable amount of time, enough to piss off whoever's following behind you. So as a racing vehicle, this is pretty good, because you can be first and still hit people. Alright, that's it. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching Trend Plays Rock and Roll Racing. I'll see you next time. Oh, and thank you very much for subscribing for everyone who has. Um, this was your 100 subscriber special. I hope you found it worth it. I apologize if uh, it's not what people normally do. I don't really know what people normally do. I'm making it up as I go along. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> See you later.